Hey guys, welcome to my clean with me inspiration video. I personally love watching these as I clean my home and find them incredibly motivating. Today I'm starting off in the nursery. As we're still working on getting it completed for baby A, it does tend to get quite dusty in here, as well as collect a lot of plastic wrapping. I always like to start cleaning a bedroom by making the bed. I find it very motivating to have such a large space already clean. With my pregnancy pillow taking up half of the space, I can't be bothered with putting my decorative pillows on the bed anymore. So I just make it to the best of my ability and leave it for the next day. I like to wipe my glass surfaces off with vinegar and lemon water. Although I'm not fully against chemicals, if items aren't dirty, but just a little dusty or grimy, I find that the vinegar does a better job and keeps the chemical usage in my home down. My favorite product to clean wood with is this Method Wood Polish. With the natural wood, I find it a little difficult to dust as all the grains catch the dust. But with this wood polish and a microfiber cloth, it gives my natural wood a new life. Does anyone else have this corner chair in their room which seems to attract all of the clothes that are tried on throughout the week but don't seem to make the cut? After a week it seems like half of my wardrobe is in this chair. The living room and kitchen is definitely the catch-alls. On this specific week, I knew I wanted to film, but I kept putting it off, so the mess just kept collecting.
My system for cleaning the kitchen is really to throw all of it into the sink, so it seems like the mess is smaller and easy to tackle. As you can tell, I'm not a big fan of cleaning, but I do love having a clean home. So trying these small hacks like watching other clean with me videos and making messes smaller than they really are helps me to keep motivated. I usually leave the dishes to my husband. There's always that one chore everyone hates doing, and for me it's dishes. As you saw in the previous clips, we do have a dishwasher, but I find it just doesn't do as good of a job as the old school way. Sorry about these next couple of clips. I am not sure why my camera wouldn't focus, but essentially I finished putting away some of the items and wiped down the counters. I always wipe down the counters before I sweep and vacuum to make sure I get all the tiny little crumbs. I absolutely hate cleaning a kitchen only to find that I missed some crumbs on the counter. It drives my husband crazy, but I put all the crumbs from the counter onto the floor and then sweep and vacuum them up. It's, for me, the most efficient way to clean my kitchen. I vacuum the house from bottom to top. Anything that needs to go upstairs at this point is taken and moved out of the way.
bed isn't perfect, but like I said, I've given up on that battle, as long as the pregnancy pillow is in the bed. The nursery still has a long way to go, but I'm excited to start seeing it all come together slowly. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this has inspired you to clean as well. Check out my blog for more lifestyle and posts linked below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!